Alright boys, I've been a little unlucky on all of my top 10s as of late. I've been posting them and then they come out with like two or three new cards in that position. It just happened for the quarterbacks. The running backs, I was a little bit patient on. We did, we are doing this a little early. I like to wait normally like two weeks. It has been 12 days, but at the end of the day, there are like five or six new running backs on this list. So I had to go ahead and update it for you guys here today. But if you enjoy top 10s, I do them on every position. I do gameplays on basically every card you see on these lists as well. So if you're enjoying, make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe and let's just jump right into number 10. Number 10, this one is a very hard one to rank because as you guys know, this is a juking mad and the juke is absolutely OP in this game. It is by far the best thing in the game and you have to be under 246 pounds to do it. He is 264. But I will say Brandon Jacobs is a weird one when it comes to being a big running back because I also think being tall is very, very good in the receiving game as well. You get high ball wheel routes. Wheel routes destroy man and man is becoming really popular right now in the game. And then obviously when it comes to literally any sort of like, you know, angle route or whatever, you could high ball it over defenders at times. And I think Brandon Jacobs is really good when it comes to that as well. And I know 72 catching something that throws you off, but gift wrapped is literally makes that 100 overall basically. And he also, I will say 73 short row earning. It didn't feel like that when I used the card because he also gets like infinite abilities as you guys know with the crucible promo they got a built-in ability and then they got like a bajillion free ones so you can see a zero ap bucket here zero ap bucket here another one right here and i think yeah that's it so they get four zero ap's i will say these cards kind of got nerfed with aiden hutchinson as you guys know aiden hutchinson is like the best card in the game right now he if you have a charge up x factor you basically don't have an x factor anymore so brandon jacobs technically won't have his x factor on basically the entire game if they have aiden hutchinson and like I said, that is the biggest must-have car in the game right now. I feel like most people probably should have him on their team. So it's it's kind of hard to value like his angry runs or whatnot. But I will say still having four zero APs and having one of the better builds in game, I think I do like that as well. But there are some negatives like 97 speed, no juke that hold him from being any higher in the list. Number nine, I had to go all the way to Mutt.GG because as you guys know, you I, I'm not going to go power him up every single time just to show him in the top 10. But Alvin Kamara is the guy that I got to use for a long time. As you guys know, he is my favorite running back like of all time. He's probably one of my favorite players of all time. So I got to use him for a fat minute. And he's actually always good in Madden because he gets a great build as well he gets the good juke he's always a receiving back too so as you guys know he comes with insane stats 95 catching 95 shore earning as well which is going to be insane in the passing game i will say it does suck that a lot of these guys got 98 speed on these cards which makes no sense but you don't really feel it too crazy but they also get to choose whatever zero ap's you want in these cards that's what was a really cool thing in this promo you got to choose a zero ap here and a zero ap here probably the best stack though would probably be jukebox and tank as you guys know jukebox the best running back ability in the game and then tank to obviously counter the avalanches and whatnot on defense and like i said earlier it kind of sucks because they do get the charge of angry runs but it's hard to use it right now because aiden hutchinson just nerfs all the charge ups literally into the dirt and i like i said i know aiden hutchinson's like a 700 k card an 800 k card he is like the biggest must-have card in the game and i think most people are realizing that and grabbing him so it hurts guys like ak you know what i mean it hurts him truly a lot Number eight, we got our guy, Brees Hall. And I will say he has had one of the best gameplays I've had all year when it came to the running back position. I also got to use him for a fat stream after that too. And I really did enjoy this card. 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 agility. You do feel it out there. And then obviously 99 carrying on top of that. 99 change of direction. He is amazing statistically. I will say I wish the guy who made him boosted the route running. Look at the route running, boys. This was always my biggest negative with him. 71. It's definitely tough on a golden ticket, right? I feel like that should be one of the biggest things you should upgrade. That's out routes, angle routes, everything you're basically running with your running back. But as you guys know, he also got the next factors. But like, I, I'm not going to mention it on every card. It's it's not as valuable anymore as it used to be. But you can see right here, you get evasive in your route tech. for I, The routes, like, I, I don't remember being one. I, I forgot because he's the first release golden ticket. They kind of got cheated on abilities. As you know, they don't get another one AP. These guys got absolutely cheated. But I will say evasive and human joystick for a uh, total of zero isn't bad at all number seven you can see i'm kind of bouncing back and forth with the theme team all-star guys we have another guy in travis etn who is probably the best theme team all-star running back in the game not including the ltds and whatnot but as you guys know he's actually the only one there's like nick chubb in there uh Najee, obviously i just showed you kamara there's a lot of good running backs in there they all only max out at 98 speed and like i said they all get very similar abilities anyway so i'm gonna go with the one naturally with 99 speed regardless he also has like the exact same build as kamara like literally word for word bar for bar exact same build 99 speed still has amazing carrying as well the route running is still amazing although it's not hitting that 90 threshold you saw on kamara it's still very good and then like i said catching it's really hard to care about catching anymore because 
like I said, gift wrapped is literally, it makes your running back a god anyways out the backfield. But ETNs, like I said, it gets every every ability you would possibly want. I will say the one thing that does suck with him, unlike Kamar, he doesn't get tank right here, right? You're still going to get your jukebox, but you can go with route tech or human joystick right here, which is not bad. I think those are really two good abilities as well. And then, as you guys know, charge of X Factor, it is what it is right there. But Travis Etienne, a super slap on card. I know he's not the, the craziest name in the world, but this dude is definitely a beast in the game. At number six, he was actually number one on my last list. But as, like I said, it kind of hurts a guy like Dickerson because of the momentum shift. Uh, Aiden Hutchinson is one play on and then three plays off. So basically, if you cannot charge within one play or start the game or have a built-in ability with it, you're kind of dead. Even if you start the game with it, he's nerfing you right away. So a guy like Dickerson definitely does lose value, but I still think he has one of the best builds in game. He falls forward. I feel like this card is just coded so much differently than other game, uh, every other running back. And he also comes with amazing ability still on a card that's very old, right? You put the token in, you get, you're going to get human joystick for zero, and then you get a bunch of buckets over here. You're going to get your tank. I guess you can spend one AP on it but jukebox right here and he also gets energizer too so for one ap you're getting four abilities and then obviously you can go with the next factor i will say he used to be insane because of the combine but combine's dead this one's actually dead you can't even use it anymore and then i mean even this one the ring of honor or the freight train one i don't even know if this one will ever be active if you think about it because it's going to start the game and aiden's going to be a Bro, I'm telling you, Aiden killed a lot of these cards. Actually killed it. It really looks like when you're looking at this list, the top four cards feel like they are miles ahead of all the other running backs. Now we head into our top five where we got our man, Jamal Charles, where I did think he was the best running back in the game pre-Aiden Hutchinson. I really did think he was RB1. He is amazing statistically, 99 in all the major like speed, excel stat, whatever. 96 carrying, 94 catching too. So he's basically Kamara out here. And then also a great route runner as well. You can see 95 shore running, which is ridiculous. So statistically, he's about literally as a good as it gets it in the game you get obviously juke as well and then he has a built-in x factor but the problem is is this is not one of the better ones in the game i mean it's still cool at times but tackle supreme is literally everywhere and as you guys know with tackle supreme you're not gonna juke it out because that's what it literally cancels so first one free is kind of just mid it's like just mid pack out there but at the end of the day he still gets a but like a billion literally a billion zero ap's you're gonna get tank right here for zero you can get your evasive route tech as well he is literally insane human joystick but the problem is is you're never gonna have what is it called you're never gonna have your freight train on or you're never gonna have your anger runs on that's the problem is you're never gonna have it on but i will say still having this i guess is cool for the people that don't have all the tackle screams and then you have like a billion zero ap so jamal charles i still have to rank highly but the next four guys all have a built-in x factor that's just much better right at number four this is my current running back in the game i really do like him and i love that he's very cheap as well 375k i will say there are huge benefits to him and then there's also negatives to him kind of like brandon jacobs he is also 97 speed and he also is 335 pounds but i will say he does fall forward a lot but he can't juke i will say the one thing that's nice about having built-in freight train is normally with a good running back or not a good running back with a juking running back you could juke to the last level and then you won't have to activate that freight train until like the safety and then you could be gone right but the problem is with william perry you're gonna fall forward a lot but you can't really make a lot of guys miss you're just gonna keep on like chugging along for like five eight yards which i i still think is absolutely op and they also gave him the best stats in the game i mean he has 99 catching he also i believe he has insane route running too, right? 97 shot running. The best in the game, I believe, is a running back as well right now. I think there might be one guy, a golden ticket that's higher than him. But at the end of the day, William Perry, amazing. I mean, freight train built in. You can't momentum shift it. Aiden Hutchinson can't cancel it out. That's the reason why he's above everybody else. And then also, I will say, evasive on a guy that can't juke. It helps a little bit, but it's not like insane. You know what I mean? Like, it's... It's not what it's going to be on, like, a guy that has the fast juke. But still, I think having Energizer Tank is still very, very good. You could use that uh, the, the evasive if you want, but William Perry is amazing. We all know that. So at number three, we have a fullback. Franco Harris is a fullback, but I am including him on this list because... No one, I mean, I guess you could use him as a fullback because he has that Vanguard right there. But I feel like this card is absolutely amazing, especially maybe if you were on the double backfield. I know some people do that, the split or whatever it's called. That I mean, he would be insane in that scheme as well. But I think the one thing is, I truly do think he is the best running back in the game if you could speed boost him up to like 98 or 99, which very easy now, especially with the Seahawks same team. You also get Steelers almost puked in my mouth but at the end of the day franco harris is amazing because he comes with a great build as well he's basically almost max weight but near or near max weight of being able to juke 230 is a great build he still gets a good juke he's tall too so he's amazing in the passing game he comes with the 88 catching 99 carrying he also is a good route runner as well at 91 which is insane and then when we come to abilities like i said these don't really help him as much as a running back i think tip drill obviously you guys know why they put it in 
you guys know why. You guys know why. I don't even got to explain. If you're a real football fan, you know why he has Tip Joe built in. But Vanguard, like I said, I I, I really do. I think I think he's a better running back than a fullback. I guess unless you have one of the guys above him maybe on this list. Maybe. I don't know. But if you come over here, he has built in freight train for one, which is insane. He also gets Charles, which I probably wouldn't use, honestly, because you have freight train already. He's going to break a lot of tackles. He's not going to fumble too crazy regardless. I'd probably just use the tank and the jukebox. I think he's insane. So you have four Zary P's and next factor. Like I said, if you can get him up to 99 speed, I do think he is RB1. But I feel like in a list where I'm not basing out theme teams, I kind of have to tank him a little bit lower because of that. Boys, at number two, I got Walter Payne. And I can see the argument for him being number one. And there's a reason why. Obviously, statistically, he is amazing. He's great at everything. He's also a good catcher and route runner. If we come down to route running, I believe, yeah, he hits the 90 threshold right there. 91 shot running is a beautiful sight. It, I, I would, I mean, we're nitpicking here a little bit. But 98 speed, come on. Just give him 99 EA Sports. He's one of the best running backs of all time. What are we doing here? But moving over to abilities, built-in tank, like I said, one of the best ones in the game. We'll take that every day. And then also, he comes with... I mean, you could use that 1 AP route type, but he comes with angry runs. I will say the reason why, the only reason why I think you could argue at number one over the number two spot, right, where I have him, is that he gets angry runs and not freight train, right? Angry runs is definitely better than freight train because it works after the catch as well. But I think the number one guy is a little bit better statistically. And also, I like his build a little bit more in game. But at the end of the day, I still think it's very interchangeable. But angry runs and evasive and then tank, and then you can put it in the route tech for all for two AP. That is absolutely insane. I think Walter Payne is regardless. I mean, no matter what you want to say, a top three running back, you could put him anywhere else inside of there. You got to have Walter P if you want to have that angry runs on all game. And also, he's unzappable by momentum shift. We love that. At number one, we got the brand new golden ticket himself, Marshawn Lynch. This card is insane. 99 in basically every speed stat right there. 98 Excel, you're going to be fine regardless. 99 carrying. Like I said, I, I think the guy who built this card is really smart too because normally in past Maddens, you would boost that catching, but Gift Wrapped is broken this year. It literally makes these guys Zeus. And then also, look at they did boost the shore running. This guy made the perfect golden ticket. 99 shore running. And like I said, I love his build in game. He is 5'11", 215, which is basically the same thing as like Kamal like I showed you earlier, but he looks bigger in game if that makes sense. I swear he falls for it. I don't know if it's just how he's made in game or how he's coded, but he is insane. 99 basically in every stat. And then ability wise, they made him perfect, right? His 1 AP is great. Tank, throw on the tank. And then his 0 APs, you get freight train on all game long. And then you could probably, I mean, I'd run evasive, but you can go with trust if you really want it to be safe. But these two are definitely the 0 APs and then tank on top of that. He gets everything you want. He's one of the best route runners in the game, or he is the best route running running back in the game. He's amazing statistically everywhere. I think Marshawn Lynch got to be number one until we get, like, literally, I don't even know. I think the only guy that can be better than him is somebody that's maxing out the weight before the juke, like a Payton Hillis or something. But, I mean, for now, Marshawn Lynch got the throne. Hey, boys, I appreciate y'all chilling all the way to the end of the video. Make sure to comment down below which running back are you rocking right now in the game, which guy's too high, which guy's too low, who did I snub from the list. I love reading all the comments, man, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out, boys.